Hello, very exciting day today. I'm in Chamonix. Uh, the weather's looking pretty good, very flyable, I hope. Hopefully not too much wind around. It's actually almost overdeveloping, if anything. Um, and why it's really exciting is because I've got two new gliders to test from Air Design. So this year they've released quite a few wings actually. Um, and the two that I have is the new Volt 5, which is replacing the Volt 4. Uh, and the Volt 4 was the first ever certified ENC two-liner that came out. Since then, there's been a lot of brands that have brought out other two-liners, and uh, Air Design have updated it to the Volt 5. So that's gonna be exciting to see how that is. And even more excitingly, at least for me, is what I've got with me right here now, the new Hero 2, which is, uh, again, another two-liner. This one is ENC, uh, END, sorry. Um, and it's, it's pretty light, it's about three and a half kilos. Both the gliders that I've got with me today, I've got them in the size small, and uh, I'll go weigh myself after this and, and, and put up the total weight in the screen so that you guys can see what I'm flying all up. But I'm guessing it'll be towards the upper end of the weight range of what they suggest you should fly them at. Um, and the plan for today is to do some sort of SIV type maneuvers. So I'm gonna be doing full stalls, spins, um, if I can manage to make a front tour, I'll try, uh, but they're tested under the collapsing lines and I don't have a speed bar with me. I've got the acro harness for a bit of extra safety. Um, but hopefully this is gonna be able to sort of show you how these wings perform in those situations. When you have a pilot like me, who's not a test pilot or someone like that, I fly a bit of acro and I'm a fairly competent cross country pilot. But um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they're like. I'm very excited. So, just getting to the top of the lift now, let's head to launch. Up she comes. Nice. Pretty easy inflation, considering there was no wind. Everything looks good. Great, okay, so here we are. We are on the new Hero 2, um, which is Air Design's latest and greatest two-liner ENZ lightweight category. I am on the small size, which is good, I think, from 75 to 92 kilos, and I expect I'm on the upper side of that weight range. I will weigh myself later and put what the weight is. Today, I'm gonna do some uh, tests with kind of like SIV type stuff. I can't do everything because I don't have a speed bar and they also use collapse lines to do some of the frontal stuff. However, we will do what we can and uh, see what it is like. I'm also going to be testing the new Volt 5, which is their ENC two-liner, replacing the Volt 4 that I did a test for like this, similar a couple of years ago. So I'm just getting myself in position. Um, so far, this is my first flight on the wing, so I've really just taken off and uh, flown out. I've not really done anything else. So I think the first thing we're going to do is just see how much energy we've got. So we're going to do some tongage. Here we go. Nice. Plenty of energy. And stop that. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, let's do some wing overs. So, left. Whoa, it gets nice and big. Nice and big. Woo. We're gonna come up. All the way through. And break the dive. Nice. Brake pressure. It's not too firm, actually. It feels pretty good. Okay, so. What should we do first? I think it's going to make sense to do a full stall first. So I'm going to try and do this in the two-stage method. So here we go. Wingtips start to go back. Hands up. Nice. Find back fly. Let her out. Oh, felt pretty good. Okay, let us do a spin to the right all the way around until we run out of energy. Here we go. Spin. And control the brake. Nice. This time I'm gonna do a spin on the left, but I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna do a quick one. 
So, spins the glider, hands up. Nice. Pretty good, that. Okay, let's do a full spiral. We'll do that to the right. Here we go. Going into a full spiral. Nice. Nose down. Hands up. Weight shifting away. And it's coming out by itself. So with a bit of weight shift then, I could get out of that maneuver. So that was pretty fine. Let's do one more full stop. Hands up. That was so pretty. A little bit too much. One more. Hands up. Break it. And release. Nice. Very small cravat there, but super easy to pump out. Fran, feels easy. Um, I've been flying the Zeolite a lot uh, the last year and a half, I guess, because I valued the performance on speed bar over that of what I had on the Volt. And uh, the Zeolite is a bit more demanding than this wing in those situations. So I would say this is easier than the Zeolite. Probably not quite as easy as the Volt 4, but that's kind of uh, what you would expect because the Volt 4 was a C and this is a D. Um, but I would say that is the easiest END two-liner that I've done those kind of maneuvers on. Um, very impressed. Obviously didn't get to see like full frontals then or anything like that, but uh, we did everything else. So, we're just going to come into land now. Here we go, breaking it a bit. And nice little flare, don't need much, we've got the wind. Nice. And we'll let that go back. Easy. Very, very easy for END. Cool, I am looking forward to flying this wing a bit more, um, see what the performance is like. But in terms of SIV test, you know, not doing all the maneuvers, I appreciate that. There's no frontals or anything like that. I felt very comfortable on that. I think I could sort it out in most situations. So, nice. Comes nice. Thermic straight up. Okay, so we are testing the new Volt 5, which is a ENC glider, two liner, replacing the Volt 4, which was the first ever. ENC two-liner certified that uh, that Air Design made and anyone made for that matter um, and yeah gonna compare it against what I just flew which was the Hero 2 I'm expecting this to be a bit easier so first of all we'll do a bit of tongage to make some energy with the wing so back here we go three back three back three one more and we'll catch the dive nice not as much energy as the hero i'd say uh but still pretty nice uh let's do some wing overs next so see how that feels right Let's catch the dive. Yeah, nice. I think the hero had a bit more energy uh, accessible getting into those things then. Uh, 
which is no surprise. I'm just going to fly forwards a little bit just to get in front of the box again. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this definitely feels more of a, a step below the Hero, which is exactly what you would imagine, given that it's a sea glider rather than the D glider, and it's what you'd want as well. Feels very uh, homogenous, this glider. I like that. Feels good. Um, okay, so next up we are going to do a full stall and we'll do again the same that kind of two stage stall so here we go wing tip start to go okay a bit like the vault in the fact or the vault four in the fact that quite hard to keep it in the back fly it really wants to fly again let's just do one more of those so it starts to go yeah really wants to fly again i'm sure with a bit more time i could find the knack of where that back fly is I think the Hero was potentially actually a little bit easier to get into the back fly. It was less wanting to fly forwards again. The fact that this wants to fly again, in my opinion, is not necessarily a bad thing for, from a safety point of view. Okay, we're going to do a full spin where we go all the way around. Here we go, we're going to do that on the right. So, all the way. And hand up, and let us fly again. Really does like to fly again. Um, but that was that was nice. No cravats, no nothing. Let's just do a little bit of a spin on the left and back up. Easy. Didn't have to do anything to stop that then. Okay. Wonder if we can get it to do a frontal with a bit of pitch. Okay. Took a lot, but that did happen because there's no collapsing lines I sent the whole thing forwards uh, popped back out again pretty nice so yeah that was good ok we're going to do a quick spiral bring a bit low now fall down spiral and stop nice comes out glider's way behind me catch the dive Woo! Okay, by coming out of it pretty fast then, you could see the glider went far back and it did want to shoot, but you can definitely, definitely fix that very easily with a bit of brake input. So, yeah, I mean, easy, I think, is what I would say about this again. Pretty easy. Does want to fly again, uh, so a bit harder to keep in the back stall, or sorry, the back fly, but um, yeah, easy glider to manage very much like the Volt 4 and it will be great to see what the performance is like with a speed bar on this because I think it's going to have a bit more than what the Volt 4 had which will then make it a fantastic safe two-line cross-country win. So we're just going to concentrate on our landing now. A little bit of brake and then we'll let that shoot at the ground. Whoop. <laughs> Quite a lot of wind for this time of year. Okay, so that's the test done. Um, one flight on both of the wings. And yeah, they both felt really fantastic. The Hero 2, it has an aspect ratio of 6.95, whereas the Volt 5 has an aspect ratio of 6.45. And you definitely feel that when you're flying the two wings. The Hero 2 is that much more, a little bit snaky um, and a little bit thinner. So there's more things to deal with there. Um, whereas the Volt 5, it felt, you know, in those kind of things, doing full stalls and spins and stuff like that, it felt very much like the Volt 4, which to me was kind of a groundbreaking experience. I remember when I first flew that wing, I just thought, whoa, this is so accessible for a two-liner. I mean, I always thought it felt like a B-wing or something. It was very accessible. And the Volt 5 has that kind of feeling. 
Um, it definitely wanted to fly again, the Volt 5. Like when you were in sort of like trying to get into backfly, it's, it's keen to get going again, um, which I think, you know, is going to make it a, a safe wing. Um, that's not to say that it's wanting to shoot like crazy. It just wants to get open back up again. Um, the Hero 2, to me, flying it then, it definitely felt more accessible for doing the stalls or a at least a little bit less nerve wracking than what I feel like on my Zeolite. Um, it's actually slightly more aspecty than the Zeolite according to the numbers as well. But it just, it felt very calm when I was doing those things. Nothing, nothing too crazy was, was going on. With the Zeolite, I find it's quite easy to end up with little cravats. And that wing, I didn't really find that to be the case on the Hero 2. I've not flown the latest Zeolite 2, so I, I can't actually offer up any opinions on, on how those two wings compare to each other. Um, but yeah, in terms of the most accessible D-Wing whilst doing stalls and spins, I think the Hero 2 takes it for me out of what I've flown. And there's, there's lots of wings that I've not flown, so <laughs> you'll have to take that with a bit of a pinch of salt. Um, but I'm super excited to, to fly the Hero 2 on a cross country, which maybe I'll try and do today and, and post up a bit more a review on its performance. Um, but in terms of stalls, spins and those kind of things, I felt pretty confident on it and steady away, which is good because I want to feel confident on the wings that I'm flying um, because then I fly better, I can push more and that kind of stuff. I know this test didn't use the speed bar system, um, which I think is important when you're, you know, that's probably often where you're going to take collapses. And I know I didn't try to pull any frontals on the, on the Hero 2 to see how that performed. Um, but I hope this video has been useful. Um, and if you're looking at these two wings, then I hope this is, uh, some, some more information for you, but yeah, get out there, try them yourself, see what you think. And yeah. I hope you enjoy them and I really hope I'm going to enjoy them as well. I'm looking forward to trying out the, the Hero 2 maybe later today. So see you up in the sky.